Every year, the 74th Engineer Dive Detachment conducts surface supplied dives at max operating depths of 190 feet. The primary mission of the Deep Blue exercise is to certify leaders in diving medicine, emergency protocols, and mission essential tasks. What we're doing here prepares you as a supervisor to go out and be competent and know that you can handle situations if they arise in remote locations. And it, it gets you thinking about the things that you need to be concerned with as a, as a supervisor when you're in those situations. Throughout the exercise, the diving supervisors are put to the test and have to use their knowledge and experience to react quickly to anything that is thrown at them during the mission. I've done several scenarios before, but I've never done uh, scenarios where I've been in charge of such uh, a wide variety of problems of presenting themselves during the dive. Uh, I felt um, pretty comfortable th through most of it. There's some decisions that you make on the fly that you wish you hadn't, but uh, overall I felt pretty good about, about the whole thing. The Deep Blue exercise focuses on training and evaluating diving supervisors. It also allows the dive detachment to continue training to be a strong, capable, and ready force during maritime operations. The 74th Dive Detachment is the RCENT dive asset to the entire CENTCOM AO. Us and the Navy are the only two dive theater assets within uh, U.S. CENTCOM, and we are ready and responsive and able to respond to any of the dive requirements that are needed for RCENT. Reporting for U.S. RCENT Public Affairs, I'm Army Sergeant Rick Bush. Okay. Got it? Make that make okay. yeah.